Uh, this is the part where they're all selling the horses, lots going on, lots of action. Very busy, busy place. You know what? Very friendly, busy. Like, I, I know I'm going to go up to some of the camera now, I'm going to ask them a few questions, and they're just going to go, okay, I'll tell you what, Pete. Let's see anyway, let's see. I'm gonna go and ask some people about selling horses. What's one thing that sh people should come for? Why should you come at Lafferty Horse Fair? To buy horses. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something about buying a horse. Yeah, what do you, I? You get your money and you buy it. <laughs> That's what everybody said. <laughs> yeah. You selling that horse? No? Yeah, no? You selling horses today, mate? Yeah, I'm selling this one, yeah. What can you tell me about selling horses at Appleby? Yeah, well, it's a hit and miss sometimes. You can, be, you can have a 30 grand horse and end up taking 20 for it. What, do you know if I was buying a horse here, what do I need to know? Uh, well, you sort of need to know what to buy. The small horses now are holding their money in the cabs. Uh, like this horse here, you're talking probably in around about 25k. 25k? Yeah. This one here? Yeah. Wow. Small horse making bigger money. Dude. Wow. They breed that back to a slightly bigger cab, like this colour cab here. Right. And you get in between the sides and more bulkier, they bring them down in size, you know. And that's the full horses. Right, even riding what do I want to look at when I'm buying a horse? Well, no, 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 no feet, no horse, you know. If you have a bad hoofs, you're going to have a bad horse. And uh, make sure it hasn't overshot the mouth, its teeth are closing on each other instead of closing out by each other. Make sure of that. And look for sweet, actually, there's no bald in the tail here. Ah, okay. Nothing for scratching itself and stuff. General health, you know, you get it with a big belly, it's full of worms, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, You're passionate about horses? Well, I'm indeed. How many you got? Uh, a few. How many? How many? Uh, go on, how many? A few. Over ten? Yeah. No way! <laughs> yeah. How know. many do you hope to sell? Uh, probably just two at the minute. Right. This one? No, no, I only have this one to sell today. Now. Right. The rest is at home in Ireland and County Down. Right, okay. Cool. I'm famous cool. for breeding uh, German Shepherd dogs. Oh yeah? Yeah, I breed them and sell them all over the world, America. No way! Spain, France, all over. Wow, uh, cool. In the middle of Covid, they were making big money. They were making £5,000 a pup. Proper dogs, right? you know what I mean? Not not the usual scrap that people breed. Yeah. yeah. We, we treat our dogs like children, you know. Our dogs we kept in the house, they don't know how to yeah. yard or anything, you know. So. As you can see, all our horses and all my people here, that. They look after their horses. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, yeah, yeah I can see. Good breed of people. Like, yeah. Like people people run us down, but we're, we're not them kind of people at all, you know. Clash you this question, what's the misconception, like a stereotype about the travelling community that you want, what you, you don't agree with? Well, the, the, the stereotype is uh, I don't like being called a thief and not being allowed in the bar. As soon as we go into a bar and they find out where we're from, they, they don't want nothing to do with us, they want to put us out of the bar. Settled people will rob you every bit as quicker, maybe quicker. And uh, settled people are big drug dealers and stuff. And they, we work hard, we tarmac, we cut hedges, we lay gardens, we do everything. We sell horses and animals. And, and good people. What about buying horses? What do I need to know about buying a horse? What do I need to take? Don't do it. Money in your pocket. And you've got to look after. You've got to give them food, you've got to give them water, you've got to give them henna, you've got to give them food. Just to just give them anything. Make sure they're fit when you're going out and camping. So like if a poster, a big good one. So what, what, as a normal person looking at, what do you need to look out for when you're buying a horse? Loads of things. Age. Age and... Buying us or telling you lies. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of lies would they tell you? Oh, any lie in the sun. Any sun. Anything to take the cash out of your pocket. Right. Like what? What was? What's the common one? Age. Yeah. Age. age. A lot of people can't tell a horse's age. Proper horseman will be able to tell a horse's age by his teeth. Ah. Um, 
So the general public might think horses five year old or six year old. When they get it home and the vet sees it, it could be 15 or 16. Ah. As far as 20. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what this horse here? It looks like a good horse. Very nice. Why do why why do we know that's a nice horse? Nice shape. Nice shape. Nice shape. By the right nice colour. Nice height. Nice colour. Because you can buy horses and sell horses. Are you selling horses today? Um, yeah, well, not really. Just oh. Just put it out, oh, you're not selling it? It's not my horse, my sister's is. Oh, right. So if I'm buying an horse, what do I need to know? Do well, you want to buy one or not? <laughs> <laughs> no, but what about the horse? Well, so everyone's got their own voice and choices, isn't it? Really? It's about them. Yeah, what is it? What is it? Like, if I'm looking at one I'm going to buy one today, what was it I'd want to know? It's literally up to every own person what they want, isn't it? Whatever you want to look at. Does this look like... And how much... So what does one of these cost? He looks like a fucking brute. Is it a woman? Philip, Matt. Philip, Ross. Huh? Does that mean a woman? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a nice... Nice horse. Nice horse. I don't know whether this is the place to buy horses or not. I don't know nothing about them. We've told you a little bit about horses there, but I don't know. Like, it's one of them. Come and buy one, but I know nothing about horses. But this was horses at Apple Horse Fair. There's a lot, a lot of horses, I tell you. More horses than I've ever seen in my whole life. So you want to see some horses.